We're now moving into another section on our Revit Structure course about detailing. If you've downloaded the course from the internet, look in your working files folder for your new detailing Revit project, detailing RVT. And again, if you've got a DVD, it'll be in the working files folder. So look for your detailing.rvt file or project. Now, let's have a look at the detailing in Revit Structure. Let's look first of all at creating our detail views. Now, I'm currently in one of the building section elevations here. I'm in section B3, and it's the bracing that we put in on grid 4. I'm going to zoom in in that view, so I'm going to click in the view and zoom in real tight. Now, you'll notice there's a beam there, and if I click on that beam and look at my properties palette, it's a 305 by 127 by 37 beam. If I hit escape to deselect, I select that beam there. That is also a 305 by 127 by 37. They're part of our structural beam framing system that we put in on the first floor level. However, because we use smart components in Revit, you can see that the joints there don't really display what they should display. You can see the slab flooring system there, by the way, sitting on top of the beams themselves. But the bracing is all a bit mishmashy there. So what we need to do is start thinking about creating detail views. Now, to create a detail view is very, very easy. You go to the View tab on the ribbon here, and you'll notice here I've got Drafting View. That is a detail view. So it's creating a view showing details that are not directly associated with the building model, as it says on the flyout. So if I click there now, it gives me the option for a new drafting view. So what I'll do is I'll call it DV, Drafting View, or Detail View. 001 and then we'll just put a dash there and say it's drafting one like that the scale you can obviously edit I'm going to leave it at 1 to 10 and what it does now is it gives me an entirely blank sheet now what I can do here is I can link 2d CAD information so I could go to insert and bring in a CAD drawing or something along those lines or even import a CAD drawing so that when the data changes I see the changes here in my detail view in Revit I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is go to Modify here, and you'll notice there's no line tools anywhere. How do I place the line tools here? If I go to Annotate, you'll notice I've got Detail Line. As soon as I click on that, I get all of my Modify tools and the Draw tools with the line styles. That's what I need to do now. Now, what I can do here is I can start drawing up one of those 305 sections that form the beam framing system. So what I could do there is start drawing lines that actually represent that. So if we just work with some information that I've looked up, basically, we can draw it from scratch. So I can draw a line, and I'll click there, and I'll drag along, and I want that distance there to be 123.5, and I press Enter. So I need to zoom in now, because that's actually quite short. You can see it there. Now you'll notice that's coming out as hidden lines at the moment. I might not want it to be hidden lines doesn't matter at the moment so what I'll do there is I'll come down now by 19.6 and these are just sizes that I've gained from a book about steel sizes so what I'll do now again I'll zoom in and come up to that end point there like that and click and I'll do an enter to finish no you can just hit escape to finish now I'm going to select all of those lines now you'll notice I'm still in line mode so just hit escape there make sure you hit escape enough times Select all of those components there, and as soon as you do, I can change those to just lines like so, and then hit Escape. Now that is the top flange of my section, like so. So what I'll do, annotate, and I need to draw another detail line, this time a center line, and I'm going to take it from this midpoint here and drag it down, and the distance is going to be 303.8, and then I can either press Enter there, there's my line there, and you can see that's the center line of my section. So if I hit Escape now, what I can do is I can now copy these lines here. So if I zoom in, hit Escape a couple of times, click on one line, hold down Control, make sure you select the other lines, like so. So I've got all four selected. I can now copy those from that endpoint there. And what I'll do is I'll copy them down to that endpoint there. Now I've just copied that slightly wrongly, so what I'll do is I'll undo that one step and I'll make sure that I zoom properly this time. And you can see how fiddly this is. That's why I'm doing this to show you how fiddly this actually is. 
So I want those lines there again. So again, I hold down control and just select the lines that I need. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy and make sure I get the right snap point, which is that one there to the end point there. Hit escape to deselect those. Now I need to do an offset. So I select that line there and I need to offset that by 5.35. So I go up to the offset here and at the moment it's 200, way too big, 5.35. So we'll change that there. Hover there, there's one offset. If I hover there, there's another offset. And then I hit escape again. Now what I need to do now is trim those back. So I need to tidy those up. So we zoom in. And what I need to do now is use this one here, either trim extend a single element. So if I click there, like so, I need to trim to that line there. And then I trim back there like that. Now that's trimmed the wrong side. So I need to undo that by one step. So I need to go trim element there. I click there and then I click there. That trims that back. I click there. I click there. That trims that back. Pan upwards and do the same again. I click there, click there, click there, click there. Now I'm just going to hit escape there and zoom out. Now there's two lines there that I need to update. That one and also that one need to be full lines and not a center line. So we change those two lines like so. And if I zoom out now, there is my section from that bracing grid four view there. So there's my section there. You can see how long that took. It would have been much easier to perhaps link a CAD drawing of that or something along those lines. So that's how you set up your detail views and that's how you utilize the tools to create your detail views. So let's just check that in the project browser. So we need to go and find that detail view and work out where it is. So let's have a look. We've got drafting views detail and there's our DV001 drafting one. It's there. I'll just double click there to zoom extents to make sure that we obviously when we zoom in, we've got it fully on our screen in front of us. So that's how you set up a detail view in Revit structure.